All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of talk about our first steps with Illustrator here. So we're doing our Patrick Seymour influenced, um, you know, kind of lino cut style uh, cross contour imagery. Uh, so we took a look at some of his work. We found our image here. Um, we practiced with our sketching. I'm going to kind of start here and then talk about the overview in Illustrator. So this is assuming you have your image, uh, you have created your layer over top of it, and we kind of do some light sketching just to kind of figure out what some of the different shapes and forms are and what the directions are uh, in terms of the lines and how they're going to go over this. So you can do as much or as little as you feel like you need on this sketch. Um, I felt like personally this is about what I need to get started on my Illustrator document. So I'm going to go ahead at this point and um, I'm going to hide both of these layers. And what I would do here on this, if I'm ready to go, uh, I just need to kind of take this layer and export this as a PNG. So it's transparent. And I know there are other ways to get this in here, but I'm going to go ahead and call this bore one. And uh, there we go. It's going to replace this. And that's okay. And there we go. So that's now ready to go. And I'm ready to get out of Photoshop because I did my planning and sketching on there. So I'm going to go to Illustrator now and I'm going to go ahead and do create new. And for this, I'm going to do a 12 by 18. Uh, I think that's going to be a good starting point for us. Now, depending on the subject that you have, you might want a vertical versus horizontal. It's really kind of up to you. Mine is a little bit, probably a little bit more vertical than horizontal. However, I'm not totally sure. We could always change that later. So 12 by 18. And uh, again, it's a vector program, so we can always change the, the size later if we need to. So I'm going to hit Create, and it didn't create, so let's try that again. Uh, oh, there it goes, yeah. Uh, all right, so on this, uh, you can work right on white, but I think this is going to have a more dramatic look uh, and look a little bit more like some of Patrick Seymour's work if we do it on a dark background. So that's actually my first step. I'm going to go ahead and take the rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a shape here that's the same size as my canvas. I'm going to fill that with black, no stroke, and the solid black is honestly a little dark for me, so I'm going to kick it down one notch here and just make it one step a little bit lighter, uh, and I think that'll be a little bit of a uh, better size for better color for me, for sure. Okay, so uh, that is that. I'm going to go ahead and lock that layer out. However, if you are going to do, I'm going to pull his up again, if you're going to do a symmetrical uh, style image similar to many of these where it's the same on either side you have the center line of symmetry uh, that's totally fine so I'm gonna go over that step how to get that set up uh, I'm gonna do one that's not symmetrical so I'm not gonna be able to kinda draw half of it I'm gonna have to draw the whole thing but that's ultimately your choice so if you are doing symmetry here's how we're gonna go ahead and get that set up uh, I'm gonna go to view I'm gonna go to rulers show rulers and once you have your rulers here, you can go ahead over to the ruler itself on the left-hand side, drag a line out, and it should pretty much snap to the middle for you. Uh, but if it's not snapping to the middle, um, that looks like it snapped to the middle there for me. But in case it's not, you can always click on that line and then go right up here to align horizontal center and that should snap that right to the center point for you. So that's gonna make it easier when you put your image in, you can kind of align it on that, and then you're only gonna to have to worry about drawing half of it. Again, I don't really need that because I'm not doing that method, but it's your call. So I would probably lock that layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my sketch from Photoshop in here. So I'm gonna go ahead up to uh, File and Place Embedded, sorry, Edit. Um, Nope, file, place, oh, I'm like, why can't I place it? Because I need a new layer. There we go, let's try that again. New layer, file, place, embedded. I'm going to go find that image, there we go, place, and it loads it up, and I'm going to go ahead and make it about the size that I want here. So that to me looks pretty good. I, I'm probably going to have to resize this canvas, but um, not a big deal. I can always do that a little bit later. So it's going in there. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit embed up top because I want that actually in my uh, canvas. I don't want to link that file. I want to actually have this in here. Uh, so I've got this right now, and I might want to also drop the opacity a little bit on that. Um, just so that it's not quite so intense. So I'm just, with that image selected, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that opacity a bit there. Zoom in on that, make sure I'm okay. 
and uh, I'm ready to start. So I'm going to add one more layer here. I'm going to lock this out. I don't want this moving around on me. I'm going to put that kind of where I want on my canvas. Um, actually, I'd like to make it a little bit bigger. I'm not sure really what's happening right now. I can't see my anchor points on this for some reason. And remember, if you do resize something in Illustrator, for some reason you have to hold down Shift still to maintain proportion. I don't know why Illustrator and Photoshop are not synced up with that at this point, but there you go. Uh, okay, so I'm going to lock that layer out, and now I'm ready to start my line work and work with the blend tool. So that's good to go. I think I'm going to leave that at this video and in the next video I will talk about uh, doing the line work with the pen tool. Uh, remember if you're doing symmetry you want to get that line of symmetry and then kind of line your uh, image up according to that and even if it's not perfectly symmetrical with your sketch it doesn't matter because you're only going to end up drawing half of it anyway and we'll make it perfectly symmetrical. Otherwise uh, you can ignore that part of it. I could get rid of that altogether although that's on the lock layer right now. Um, get rid of that all together, and uh, you're good to go. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, and we'll start working with the pen tool and blending.